being able to reuse content as well as tie consistent elements together can actually be a real time saver when you design an app or a web design. Most programs actually refer to these as symbols, but in Figma, these reusable elements are called components. So in this video, you'll explore how to create and edit components. We'll start with the status bar up here. So click on one of the objects and press Shift 2 to zoom into it, and then Shift click to select the other one. Come up top to create a component out of this or a reusable element, click Create Component. It's now purple which means it's the master component. And you can see the icon over here, which tells you that. Now we'll copy this and we'll put this in the other frames. So press Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows. Press Shift 1 so we can see everything. Click on the name of the frame here then press Command V on Mac or Control V on Windows to paste it. Same thing over here. Click on Hikes, Command V on Mac, Control V on Windows. Now you're going to see that it's actually going to be masked by this object here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag that in the layer stack just below the mask object so we can see it again. Now my somehow my frames got out of alignment, so let me drag my home frame down. There we go. Now to edit the components, what we want to do is we want to go back to what's called the master component to edit it. That way they all edit. If you click on one of these, which is a copy, you will actually see go to master component down here as well as the instance name. Now if we change the instance name over there in the layer stack, we can have this say something different. You can also do things like detach the instance, which means this will not update if we update the master instance. So with that selected, go ahead and click on that one. Click go to master component and it should highlight this one. And all I want to do is change like the time for instance. So an easy way to select content within a group is press command on Mac or control on Windows and click on one of the objects. Double click to go to the text tool and let's just change this to 10 30 something, I don't know, 1035, that's fine. Press escape, press escape, you can get out of there. And if you use the hand tool, press the space bar or move over, you can see that they have all changed out here. 1035, 1035, that's great. Now we'll create a button and save it as a component. So go ahead and scroll down here if you can. You find this button, click on it, and come up and say create component. You can change the name if you want to over here. And by the way, all your components actually live right down here where it says components. You can see it right here. So you could, if you want to, drag out copies from here to create another one, for instance. So why don't you go ahead and do that? Drag one out of the button and drag it out over here. And you're going to see we have these icons. Why don't you take these and we can move them over on the right over here, maybe. And put this button right down about here. That looks pretty good. Now, if we come into this one, this is the instance. This is not the master component. But if you come in here and command click or control click on the text here and then double click on it to select it, you can type in, let's say, sign up. Whoops. Sign up. And you'll notice that it didn't change the original because this is the master. If you go back to the master in this case and you do something like this, if you command click or control click on the button here to select the object, do it again, come to fill and you change the fill color, let me go to lighter blue for instance, you'll notice that the blue or the color is changing, but the text is staying the same. So whatever you detached or whatever you changed on one of the instances will not change from the original. Even if I go to log in here and I double click a bunch of times and I change the text, you'll see this will not update. All right, let me undo that. Command Z or Control Z. Press Shift 1 so we can fit everything in the window. I'm going to take this image and drag it up just a little bit so we have a little more space there. There we go. And maybe I'll drag these. Once you drag these images, you can drag across them and drag them up a bit. Components in Figma can be really powerful just because they allow you to reuse content. So I would suggest that if you have things that you're going to reuse again and again, create components from them. The next thing we'll take a look at is we'll look at something called constraints.